Hello, Father Jeff Henry of St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base. And we are going to be looking at a portion of the gospel for 27 March with this question. Where are you from? It's good to see you again. We're going to look at our gospel reading for Friday, March 27. And with regard to the idea of origins, have you ever asked somebody, you, you've talked to them for a moment, you've never met them before, and you say, are you from Texas? Or maybe uh, somebody has asked you, in my case, are you from Oregon? And, and how do we get those judgments or presumptions or these, these thoughts about somebody else or even uh, recognizing it in ourselves other than the fact that each place has its own culture. It has its own way of doing things, its own distinctive accents at times. And uh, of course, with uh, media and television, everything tends to, uh, to, to homogenize, but we still have that sense of distinctiveness. And this is being asked of Jesus today in a sense. So let's, let's take a look at this gospel. And the, the theme again is, where are you from? Jesus is again at the, in Jerusalem for a festival. And people are starting to ask, well, is he the Messiah or is he not? He was speaking openly. He was te teaching in the temple. He's from Galilee, 200 miles north of, of Jerusalem. But the people are starting to say, well, maybe the, our leaders, our religious leaders are starting to recognize him as the Messiah. And so here's this discussion they're having amongst themselves. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ, the Christ being the one chosen by God as a savior? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own. Yet the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him. And he sent me. Now, they really did not, did not know Jesus' background, where he is from, as well as they thought they did. Uh, he was from Nazareth. There was nothing hidden about that. Everybody knew that, that he was a prophet from Capernaum and Nazareth area you know, that had come down and he'd been there before and taught. But they didn't realize that actually Lord Jesus Christ was born not in, not in Nazareth, but in Bethlehem, in which there is prophecies in the Old Testament that Bethlehem, not just a small town, but out of her will come the one who, is, who will govern the people of Israel. So there was a knowledge and understanding of that. But Jesus does this. It's very interesting. He does not contradict them. He says, yeah, you could probably tell by the way I speak that I'm from Galilee. You can tell by the way I dress. Uh, maybe my mannerisms that I brought with me are things that we said, little, little ways of saying things in my hometown. But then he says this. It's very interesting. I think you caught that. I sort of tried to accent it when I was speaking. He says, speaking of God the Father, Jesus says, I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So Jesus is saying, yeah, there, there are all these externals. You can tell where a person is from by what they, how they speak, how they move, what they do, the way they go about business and so forth. However, ultimately, that's all external. Where I am from is inside of me. And of course, Jesus being the Son of God as well as the Son of Man, he was sent by the Father. He is from God the Father. So what about you and me? Where are you from? Where am I from? It's not enough just to have, have been religious. It's not enough to have been, been American. I'm American. I'm a, I'm a person of faith, aren't I? Well, no, it doesn't work that way. Let me read something to you. This is out of the Gospel of Luke. And Jesus is talking about when the door to heaven is closed at the end of time. And he speaks of some people who miss out. Listen to what he says. When once the master of the house, he's talking about himself, has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, 
opened for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you where you are from. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence, and you taught us in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. So again, there's a sense of judgment about this uh, end of time. But that whole question is, where are we from? It's not enough just to have this sense of, uh, of, of being raised in the church. It's not enough to have been raised in a certain part of the country. Ultimately, what is being asked of us is, do you bear the personality, the culture, if you will, of the family of God? And how do we get that? How do we get that to become from, how can we be like Christ to be from God? Well, we have to associate, not just, not just casually, we have to commit ourselves to God. We get to know God. The more we know God, the more we are like God. And people will say, I know where you're from. By your behavior, by your love, by your trying to seek God, by your honesty and admitting your weaknesses. All these things are God things, part of the family of God. Uh, a few months, few years ago, actually, I remember taking a hike with my brother and his kids. They were college age at the time. And afterwards, we had this discussion and we were sitting at a picnic bench at a park. It was at Rodale Beach on the coast. And my niece had the exact same mannerisms as my brother. She even told the same stories and the same uh, metaphors and everything. And I, I couldn't help but laugh because when you are associating with somebody so close, you can't help but be like them. We're going to be like the family of God as we live and move as God lives and moves and has his being in us. God bless you. I hope that you have a wonderful day.